talk a little bit about training and talk about also, I'd love to hear your time training with the creator, Renee Nakashan. And, and uh, you know, Renee is now gone, unfortunately, but you learned from, my father learned from, what is training like and what was it like to train under Renee? Training is, is an amazing thing. Uh, kind of mind-blowing experience really for me it's I not went simple along, I know that yeah I went along on the basis of my friend handing me her antenna and suggesting I should go and I knew there was Chinese medicine in it and that, that I, I wanted to learn uh, how to improve my own health so I went along and I sat there I was a terrible student I asked <laughs> loads of questions and said things like but how can you make that statement but how can you say that I'm I'll sure Renee loved it, that. <laughs> prove it. And it wasn't actually with Renee at that stage. I trained with Keith Parker. Okay. And then I, when I finished my uh, level four, I went straight after the exam up to Paris for the international conference. And that was the first time that I met uh, Renee Nakashin himself. And I was just amazed by his, how intuitive he was, how simple he made it. And even that first visit, I thought to myself, I'm going to teach this. Mm. And I think it's because I have um, my physical therapy background. We used to cover a lot of physics in our training because we used to use a lot of machines. And so it made sense to me. Uh, Renee was an engineer. I was a body mechanic. <laughs> and so we're kind of, we're, we were on the same wavelength of how we thought about the body but I, but I just sat there. I've got books and books. I've been sorting things out here. And I found every single note I've taken at every conference I've been to. I went to every conference that was available uh, for years. I came home and I worked on clients, worked on family and friends first. You hone your skills first mm -hmm. before you start charging and, and uh, trying things out on people. And then I started working with clients. I worked with clients for five years. And then I went back to Paris and I redid the whole of the training again with a different teacher, this time with Susie London and with Rene himself. And then from the following year, I went back as a teacher and I taught with Dr. Rene. But at that time, he did most of the teaching and I sat at his feet, writing down everything that he said <laughs> um, and, and just absorbing all of the, the pearls of wisdom. I always called them pearls of wisdom and I used to get the students to write up pearls and we'd stick them around the wall of the class. The, the things when the penny dropped, because it's kind of a language all of its own, Agmos. So once you pick up the words and the phrases and the numbers, then you can speak the language. And the first time I taught, taught myself, I said, I'm going to teach you to speak Agmos. Because it is a language. It is a communication. And so I just sat at Rennie's feet. I used to, I stayed with the family. I still stay with, with Nicole, Rennie's wife, when I go to Paris. And I'm still regularly in touch with the family. And so while we were in the evenings, we would always be in his office chatting about things, new ideas, trying out different things. I would balance him. He would balance me. And it was just, I was very fortunate to be in the right place at the right time with the right skill set, I guess, and the right level of passion to be able to act like a sponge and absorb from the master himself in action. And so we just kind of changed over the years from him doing most of the teaching to me doing most of the teaching. Yeah. And, he, I mean, yeah. Renee is a remarkable man. I was fortunate enough to meet him as well. And, you know, what I realize is he built almost this own metaverse. As you say, it was a language, but it was a whole system with all these different pieces of it that really understood how the body works, taking in traditional Chinese medicine, taking in modern mechanics and molecular bio, all of these different things and applying it and, and creating this incredible system that is a metaverse in itself. And like you said, it takes a while. We've done trainings as well. And I've been to those trainings and you know, one is not enough. You can't just show up for a weekend. I think that's what people think. Okay, you know, one weekend I'll show up for a seminar and then I'll be good. No, this is a skill set. You know, medical school doesn't take a weekend either. It's not a seminar. And in many ways, this is kind of a, a secondary medical school to learn this metaverse. 